And guys, welcome back to day two. So first things first, I let this thing pretty much sit overnight. And honestly, this is as best as it's gonna get. So I pretty much got it all cleaned up. And uh, now it's just ready to pretty much get scuffed up. And then we can use some wrinkle paint on there. And it's gonna look super, super, super good, hopefully. I ended up going uh, down to the shop and I got different wrinkle tape. I've been honestly gone the entire day getting a bunch of things for this car. We ended up getting the proper paint that we needed, which is the wrinkle paint. And then we also ended up getting a uh, serpentine belt, brand new serpentine belt. These gaskets over here is for another car, but I also ended up picking up some m3 badges and a couple other little goodies from bmw i also ended up ordering another gasket from bmw but anywho um also some other things i ended up ordering is this hose i went to my boys at bma european and they had this on an m3 like literally a m3 were parting out right then and there i literally walked up and they were parting it out so i was like yes i need this hose i picked it right off and then we i also needed this fuel rail over here with all the fuel injectors because the ones on that car right now was belongs to the supercharger kit so we're going to take that off put it off to the side so we end up supercharging the e91 m3 we'll have the proper fuel injectors and everything and these are the stock fuel injectors. Anyways, now that we pretty much have everything, let's go ahead and start putting things together and uh, give it its first crank. Oh, yeah. guys now after getting this new hose in there i'm not gonna lie that was such a pain to get it routed from the back and attach I had to remove so many things just to get behind there and plug in that hose but now that that hose is fully connected everything else connected where it needs to be um like i said we do need to add the valve covers back on there um but honestly i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do before i actually start working on the belt and a few other things like the fuel rail and everything we might as well start getting this stuff prepped up i'm gonna go ahead and scuff up the entire thing and just start painting it while this stuff cures onto the valve cover we can go ahead and work on other things we can knock out two birds with one stone so without further ado let's just go ahead scuff these up and uh just get them ready for some paint just like that guys we finally got all the holes pretty much plugged up ready to go <laughs> now that we got this 100 percent sorted let's go ahead and spray on this bad boy And guys, just like that, after um, probably about two hours of letting it sit, I went ahead and honestly used the heat gun. I mean, honestly, it was curing on its own and it was kind of like um, getting into its like, I don't know, the cracking or whatever to make it have that cool effect. It was doing its thing, which is very slow. If you use the heat gun, it makes it so much faster. And honestly, these look so good. I'm actually not gonna touch it. I'm gonna let it cure overnight to make sure it's 100% ready to go. Now, as far as the engine stuff goes, uh, I might actually wait till tomorrow morning. I'm not sure. Or I might actually just go ahead and just go at it right now. And good morning, guys. Now that these officially cured, and uh, I mean, there's nothing else we're waiting on for the M3, other than actually one gasket for the valve cover on the side that was actually, you know, having issues. We can pretty much start assembling most of the stuff over here right now until that gasket comes in at 12 o'clock. So without further ado, let's go ahead, get in here, and just start putting together this engine. Because again, guys, if we can get this thing started, I'll be one happy dude.
All right, guys, I am super happy to say that things are looking a lot better. I know, like, right now, you guys are probably saying, ignore. You haven't really made much progress. Guys, we finally got the painted valve cover back on there. We have the two sensors connected. We have all the ignition coils connected. We have this bad boy in here. The valve cover is sealed up and everything. I actually forgot I got to put one more bolt right over here. But other than that, that all being said as well, um, I did notice there was a bypass over here, which is this guy right over here. It had, like, a triple nose on both sides. And it was, I think it's, it's again, for the supercharger. And I noticed that one of the connections go to the factory but then the other connection um pretty much where is this cable right over here right over here see exactly where that goes i'm hoping it's not going to end up to a big pile of mess down here somewhere i'm just hoping that it's one thing disconnect and we're good to go so i'm going to go ahead fish down here a little bit and figure out what that is exactly so it looks like the p1 gauges doesn't only actually connect to your obd port this one actually has like a little chip or something that connects directly into like the boost or something so um yeah, uh, I don't know if this is for supercharged cars or anything like that, or some, I, 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 I'm assuming it measures some kind of airflow. So as of right now, my boy Johnny did pull up in his truck. He went ahead and picked up a motor for a separate build. So I think right now is a good time to go take a food break and then head down to BMW, get that gasket so we can finish up the other valve cover, the side that was giving us issues. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get something to eat because I really want to get that gasket. <laughs> And guys, we just got back after getting some Chipotle. We finally got the part that we needed. So we got this bad boy. We're going to go ahead and slap this on, put the other valve cover on completely on. And then uh, this bad boy right here, um, my boy Jonathan ended up bringing it for us. So shout out to my boy Jonathan. Now, I know it's a pre-LCI, but honestly, guys, I've been looking for an Alpine white trunk for God knows how long. And I just can't find one. I mean, I literally went to pick a pull. I threw up a couple pictures of I saw it on my phone. I went to pick up on every single one. People jam it, break them, a bunch of other things. And I just can't even get an LCI because like, I think the only LCI on that, found they're asking like six hundred dollars for it and that's just ridiculous this one right here i got it for nothing so shout out to my boy johnny yes, <laughs> so that's gonna help us out it's definitely gonna help with the whole budget build um i ended up picking up a m3 logo from bmw so we're gonna have an oem one there uh reuse the badge that's on my trunk right now and then because this is gonna be for an m3 it has the oem m3 spoiler this trunk doesn't have that so we do need to get the oem m3 spoiler but for the most part other than the fact that it's dirty this thing looks absolutely mint it's definitely gonna look a lot better on this car so now they're pretty much ready to start working on this side this is the side guys that we pretty much got this is how it looked when i got the car like straight up i actually put the front piece on here and the valve cover on there with like one bolt holding it all together um and it was kind of sketch never heard the cars turn on that's why i'm honestly like i'm kind of just putting everything together i know we're gonna have a slight leak down here but as long as this thing drives and runs we get to drive it straight to the shop and get that part welded up that's the way i'm gonna honestly do it i called a couple shops they said they wanted to tackle this project so um honestly i just want to hear if the engine's good before getting anything done to this car and if we can get this thing running guys um it's gonna be pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie exciting. imagine bro Hearing imagine bro Woo. Woo, buddy and especially this is kind of like a sneak peek to what's going to be going down with the e91 m3 project because once we get that car like running and driving guys same exact sound i'm actually putting an exhaust on that one we're putting wheels on that one we're putting a supercharger on that one kind of like a good little taste of what a v8 bmw should you know be and you know i think that's why these cars are pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Jonathan's trying to get one. I'm trying know? to get one. These cars it's are amazing. A, it's a surprise, like, but it's okay. I'm trying to get one. <laughs> who, who isn't trying to get one? That's the real question. Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, it's crazy is that E46 M3s are same becoming price. the same price as these cars. And I mean, I think you guys should get these cars before, like, because BMW's not making V8 M3s anymore. Nah, they're never like, gonna that's make it. it again. That, they're never going to make it again. So if I were you guys, hop on these. Yeah, I'm trying to get one. I'd rather have this. It's more car for the money. First time guys seeing that valve cover on there, it's looking good. So let's go ahead and fully bolt that up so we can get everything connected on that side as well. And then we can finally start working on the pulleys. Once we actually get all that pulley stuff sorted, give it its first crank guys. like that guys we got the van off solenoid back in then we have both valve covers on there we have all of the coil packs on there fuel injectors hooked up this is looking pretty good we also have all the new hoses hooked up from the oem part now the last thing honestly is to connect all of these coil packs but i'm gonna go ahead and leave it unplugged for now because like i said i do want to give it a few cranks right before um and other than that i mean literally i just need to remove the supercharger belt put on the stock belts and then do an oil change 
and give it his first startup. We are getting so, so, so close, guys. Make sure to smash that like button for your boy because if this ends badly, I'm gonna need that support. And if it's, a, and if it's good news, I mean, it, it's well-deserved. So without further ado, let's go ahead and remove this fan and, uh, oh, wow, that's not even held down by anything. <laughs> let's remove this fan and get those belts replaced. Alrighty guys, so we got both belts off of the car. Now we actually need to put this alternator back in place. I don't know why the alternator is just literally just chilling like that. So once we actually bolt up the alternator back in place, we can go ahead and put in the two new belts. So this belt right over here, which I believe runs all the accessory pulleys, um, that one honestly is a smaller belt. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and reuse that. But for the bigger belt, shout out to Gates for actually sending out um, all these belts. So this belt actually over here is from Gates as well. And uh, that's the supercharger belt. The original belt for the supercharger kit is from Gates. So it's kind of crazy the company themselves sent me a brand new belt so shout out to them we're gonna be putting that right over here for the supercharger kit these are both gates's rpm belts first off they look super cool second off they are the performance belts so these are better for performance cars uh so yeah we went ahead and got two of them one for our e91 for a prior inspection and then this one as well and then like i said the supercharger one once we actually saw the supercharger so uh yeah shout out to gates for sending these out i'm actually gonna set that right off over here and let's just go ahead and install this bad boy So we got both belts on there uh, with the new valve covers on there, all the gaskets uh, all replaced. So everything should be good to go. Um, it has been dripping if you guys come down here. Uh, you guys can see there's quite a bit of leaks and it's not coming from uh, this area over here. So what makes me believe, I think it's gonna be an oil pan gasket, uh, which I mean, whoever that gets the rod bearings done on here, you know, you might as well get that done too. I mean, it's gonna all be in the same spot. You have to drop the oil pan to get the rod bearings done. So I think that's where it's leaking from because it's towards the, the drain bolt. So that being said, uh, we did get an FCP Euro kit, full oil change. I actually got this for the E91, but we're gonna end up using it for this uh, because we need to make sure it has proper oil level, proper filter, and we're gonna give this first crank. Now the car is tuned for the supercharger, so hopefully, I mean, we're not aiming for you know the best idle here. We're aiming to hopefully not hear any metal or weird sounds. Yeah. And then we're also hoping, uh, you know, it just, it idles and it sounds like, it, you know, it's running, it's not rod knocking or anything like that. That's what we're aiming. Hopefully uh, we'll try to perfect it later, but as long as it turns on guys, that's oh, the main nice. goal. And then uh, we'll hopefully put the plenum on and everything once we, I just want to start this thing, bro. Uh, yeah, after that, yeah. you know, honestly, it's whatever happens, happens, you know what I'm saying? Happens. So let's go ahead and, uh, <laughs> Cue the B-roll. guys moment of truth i got a little magnet right over here oh man this is stressing me out dog i'm hoping the rod bangs have been done and we shouldn't really see much but at the same time i don't know what to expect man <laughs> hopefully nothing bro i don't see anything there's nothing i don't see anything i tried the other side bro i don't see anything dude hold up hold up Theoretically, it should pick up like metal shavings, right? Yeah. But literally nothing. That's that, good. That's really good. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess there's nothing else other than to let's start it. Start this thing. I will right, put oil well, in put it. Put oil in it first. <laughs> <laughs> that's not causing oh, the uh, that's metal crazy. shavings, but yeah. Oh my god! Imagine, bro. That's crazy. Starts up, hers runs normal. Sheesh! I'm excited. Sick. Let's get it, guys. Yeah, let's do it. We got NW60 from FCP Euro. Yeah, so shout out to FCP Euro. Again, guys, if you guys need warrant, like literally the oil I just drained out, for those of you guys who are like, oh, that hurts, I just drained out 10W60 oil, $100 oil. Put it back in these jugs, send it back, and like that, you literally get a refund. Literally. That's literally how it works. Lifetime warranty. You can do it as many times as you want. So spend $110 once, and you can get unlimited oil, basically. <laughs> Imagine this is the coolant. Uh, oh my lord. The guy I've literally have not done an oil change in a while. I keep selling my cars too soon. Oh, this guy. I don't keep them more than 5,000 miles. How about you uh, keep a car 5,000 hey, miles? Hey, <laughs> is gonna be here for a, a lot of oil changes. Okay, okay, okay. I know. I, I have no credibility. God, I swear to God, if you sell it, Nor, uh, I don't know if I can believe it Bro, again. Bro, everyone here is like, Nor's not gonna keep that car. 
Nor, nor is money thirst. Nah, I'm kidding. No, but you like- You have so, to keep it. Seriously, guys, I am spending, like, that's why I bought this car for the supercharger, for the Apexes. I'm trying to do a budget build on this E91, and uh, I'm gonna end up, you know, spending a lot of money on it, but it's gonna be worth so much more. Me knowing that, that I'm in it way less than what it's, you know, what it's worth. I don't feel bad driving. I always know it's gonna be worth something. So that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing, like, that's why I'm doing it like this. Um, I'm all about financially making the right decisions, and at the same time, yeah. it's gonna be a sick car. If you can make money while having fun, that's what matters. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm about. A lot of YouTube people is not paying enough. Like YouTube, honestly, bruh. That's why the reason, Johnson. <laughs> the reason why? Okay, the reason why I'm not making Uploading videos is, is because it. I, you can't. I, you can't I sustain can't, your living that way. I can't even pay for the gas I use in a month with what I get paid with YouTube. YouTube. Doesn't so pay at it, all. It's, it, oops. It's like they don't pay, so it's like ah, uh, it's kind of like demotivating in a way. <laughs> I'm all emotional. No, emotional. Super emotional. Ooh, I want to make videos. I just, it's so expensive. To be fair, I don't make any money with the videos because I spend oh, just I make no money. money. Yeah, like, I don't make literally, any money. the money I make doesn't even go towards the maintenance I put in these cars. Uh, it's actually so, so true. Yeah, like I'm doing all the flips and everything on the side. Like, I have to do other things to be able to make these videos for you guys. So, again, smash that like button for me. I'm hoping, you know, YouTube will actually put me in the algorithm properly. I know. YouTube, bro, basically put me in the library in like the, the, the clearance section where, like, no one ever <laughs> <laughs> so yeah right now um i do have all the ignition coils uh, disconnected so we're not going to get it to turn over it's going to be a bunch of cranks as long as it cranks that's a good thing hopefully it does, it's not seized and we are click a click is bad a Just crank is click. good all right guys first startup of our freshly purchased e90 m3 back to stock not fully but almost literally everything just other than the, the what's it called the tune yeah. Fingers crossed, bro. My heart hurts. Every time it's the first startup, it's like, did you financially make the right decision or not? Or not? <laughs> All right. Well, again, make if a it break. cranks, that's good. We're just trying to get a few cranks going. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Ready? That's good. That's a good sign. Good. Woo! Buddy, let's get it. Let's get it. All, All right. right. Let me go ahead and connect all the ignition calls. <laughs> now, let's get it. I just basically took a shower outside. <laughs> oh man, okay, we got the engine plenum on there. We have all the sensors connected to it. So now the literally the only thing we're missing uh, to like properly have this is a full intake setup. I just literally, um, I know. <laughs> it's by getting an intake in there. Literally getting an intake for this car has been such a pain. I need two stock intakes and I, it's been like a mission for me to find. So if any of you guys have a stock intake um, that are willing to sell to me, let me know. Even if you guys are willing to ship it, it must be in the United States because shipping it like from Canada or any other state would be like 100 to 200 dollars in shipping just alone because that's a big box. It's probably one of the biggest intakes I've ever seen. So hey, yeah, um, yeah, need to get an intake for it. But other than that, hopefully, All right. please, bro. Okay, it cranks. Does it start? Hold on, hold on. Let me record on my phone. Is there any gas? It's got gas. <laughs> Crank, no star. I mean, it could be, it could be something. It's not exactly a good sign, boys, but... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it died, though. It died. smoke yeah. yeah oh i think the smoke is from uh the valve cover well there is a paper towel down there though oh yeah we need to get that out too i think at this point it's because of the tune to be honest with yeah you. it's running a little rough let me let me call my boy see if he can pick up see if he can actually reflash this back to stock 
Um, but it starts, bro. It actually started. It starts. That's pretty sick. It was um, like but it poppin'. is like it was bogging. It was popping. I think it's because of the tune. I think it is also a tune because the car did have a, like aftermarket fuel injectors. So right now it's probably throwing different fuel ratios and stuff yeah. because of the tune. Um, and also it had uh, like literally a different like an extra pulley. So I'm sure the timing is off on that as well. So the main thing is, guys, I it was hoping started. it starts and it started. starts. It didn't like, sound like anything too crazy. The scary thing is um, this was the side that we we're having issues with. And I did see smoke coming from this side. I'm hoping it's just because obviously uh, whenever you do a valve cover gasket, it smokes. It's just because yeah. it's burning all the excess oil. Um, so I'm hoping that's what it is. Uh, we'll have we need to see it idling. We have a fire extinguisher, thankfully, worst comes to worst. Um, but it started, bro, and that's all that matters. So I'll come back to you guys once we figure out the whole coding situation. So as you guys can see, uh, the M3 is running and driving. That is absolutely insane that we have an E90 M3 that we picked up mainly for the supercharger kit that we're transferring over to our M3 and for the Apexes and the KWs that we're transferring over to our M3. This bad boy is not only giving us thousands and tens of thousands of dollars worth of parts, but it's also gonna be flipped towards the R8 and it's honestly such, such a good feeling. Now, obviously we still need to address that tiny little crack issue. So now that we know the engine is perfectly running, I'm gonna end up driving this down to one of those welding shops and I'm probably gonna try to just weld up that little crack and everything's gonna be gravy in the Navy. So it's not gonna be an issue much longer. Honestly, I'm just super, super, super happy. That engine is super sound. Now it is kind of roughly idling and bogging out and dying, mainly because of the tune. I'm pretty sure it's because of the tune. So hopefully in the next video, I'm gonna be putting the car back to stock and then hopefully hearing and idling it and driving it and hoping to God, everything is gonna be gravy in the Navy. So yeah, hopefully the first drive in the next video, if you guys are excited to see it, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.